is solving exponential equations using like bases. So we have this one-to-one -one property with exponential functions that says basically if you have the exact same base on both sides and nothing else on either side, then you're allowed to drop the bases and set the exponents equal and then solve down whatever remains. So let's jump right into a few of these examples. On this first one, we have two raised to the x minus one equals two raised to the two x minus four. Now this fits into that situation perfectly from the very beginning. <clears throat> have the same base on both sides. They both have two as their common base. So we can drop these bases and say x minus one, that exponent equals two x minus four, this other exponent. Now we're all the way down to a linear equation. So we'll just get all the variables on one side. 2x minus an x makes 1x remaining minus 4. We'll go ahead and add the 4, move that to the other side. We get x equals 3 is our only solution for this equation. Very, very similarly on this next one, have the same base on both sides, drop those bases, set the exponents equal. Pretty easy equation to solve down. We'll go ahead and move the 3x to the other side, get all the variables on one side, constants to the other side. Now to get the variable by itself, we need to get rid of that negative. So we'll either divide or multiply both sides by negative one. <clears throat> Best answer possible, we're gonna get x equals negative two. Now this next one's a little bit more challenging. Um, it's gonna be based on some of our exponent rules. You have to remember that to get the same base on both sides, I know typically we go for the smaller whole number, but in this case, we have a one on the right-hand side. We can rewrite the right-hand side strategically here, if we remember that anything raised to the zero power is equal to one. So we're gonna replace the one with nine to the zero power being that nine was the base on the left-hand side. Now we can drop the bases, set the exponents equal. Pretty easy equation to solve down. We'll add 10 to both sides, zero plus 10 is gonna make 10. All right, another one here, we have four raised to a power on both sides. Drop those bases, set the exponents equal to one another. That's a V on the right-hand side, so we'll keep it the same variable. Actually, that's a V on the left-hand side. Let's keep that as a V as well. Um, to get this one solved, we want to get all the Vs, all the variables on one side, so we'll add the 3V to both sides. So negative 2 equals positive 2V as we combine these like terms together. To get V all by itself, we'll divide by 2. Sorry, that's positive 2. So we get negative 1 equals our V. They get a little bit more challenging as we keep moving through these. As you notice on this one, we don't just have three to a power on both sides. We have on the right-hand side, three to the two X power divided by three. Now we have a couple different options here. We don't want this to be a fraction when we get done here. So we have a couple of options. We can either combine these together. We have three as a base numerator and denominator, or um, I'm gonna take the elective to move the three to the other side by multiplying by three, therefore getting rid of that from the right-hand side. So we still have three to the two X over there on the right side. That three that we just multiplied has an exponent of one on the left-hand side. Um, to combine these exponents together and just get three raised to a power over on the left-hand side, we're gonna have to add these exponents. So if we take the one and add it to the negative seven, we're gonna get four X minus six. Combining these exponents together, we're adding them together. So four X minus seven plus one, the one and the negative seven are like terms. We can combine those together. Drop the bases now that we have three to a power on both sides. And solving this one down, I'm gonna move the four X to the other side by subtracting four X. That'll put the variables on one side, the constants on the other side. So negative two X as we combine these together. To get X all by itself, we'll divide by negative two. This will give us X equals positive three. That's our only solution on this one. <clears throat> one more exponent rule to review over here. On this last one, uh, we have five to the X power equals the square root of five over on the right-hand side. Well, we wanna have five to a power on both sides in this case. So we have to remember that to rewrite the square root, we're gonna rewrite that as a one half as an exponent because it's index is two and the five is raised to the first power. It always goes exponent over the index on our radical to get this rational exponent. At this point, we can drop our bases, set the exponents equal to one another, and we get x equals one half. 
All right, hope this helps out. I'll do one more video with a little bit more complicated examples on rewriting so we get the same base on both sides. Good luck to you on these.